Hi, Reject Nation. I'm great. Stop picking your eyeball. <laughs> I had an eyelash. We're filming. Uh-huh. Gosh. You just didn't check in with me. God, nah, it's not Greg. my job to uh, check in with you. It's not your job, it's your job to check to in follow with me. me. It's my job to follow me. Ugh, these are real these talks are real with Cat and Greg. <laughs> Kat, you can tell, is obviously a great stand-up comic. So good. So good. Oh you should follow her on the social medias, which are all in the description boxes, yeah. yo. A few people have sent this to me. They're usually followed by, this reactor's watching it, this reactor's watching it, and this reactor's watching it. Apparently this Bill Burr stand-up of white versus black athletes and Hitler is uh, going around town, and people are doing reactions to it. All right. Sure, I want to see what the big deal is about. And I figured who better to watch a stand-up comedy bit with than my Me. one real stand-up comic friend. Oh my gosh. Cat I'm so happy you didn't qualify that with female comic friend. <gasps> That made my Did day. I not? I'm sorry. My one female comic friend out of my many stand-up friends. <laughs> yeah. Just made my day worse. I'm sorry. Bill Burr I love. I think he's really fucking funny. I've seen a few of his specials. I'm I couldn't really get through his last Netflix special. Yeah, his last Netflix special was not as great as. But, it was kind of weak sauce. But I still listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Lost his edge. I mean, he's still funnier than I'll ever be. Anyway, let's check it out. I like that Jimmy the Greek moment that happens in sports, you know? Like once every four or five years, you know, like some 50, 55 year old white dude tries to explain why black people are kicking the shit out of white people in practically every major sport, you know? And it always goes down the same way, right? There's always like three white dudes and the one white dude in the middle, he's always like the guy with like the theory. You know, he's always like, you know, it seems these, uh, these African American athletes, they, uh, they seem to have this, uh, this quick twitch uh, muscle fire, you know, there's a uh, slow twitch. And there's uh, this quick twitch, and the second the dude says that, like the other two white dudes start like sliding on a frame, like they're gonna. Like, are you watching sports? 
Sports Center? Or do you see the Olympics? Like, I love the 100 meter dash, right? There's always, there's always like, like, like nine black dudes and then that one token white guy in like lane eight. And I'm just sitting there going, come on, man, one time. Just one time, just, just win the bronze, just do what you gotta do. And the white dude always stays with him until like the first turn and he like fucking blows out. <laughs> You fucking would win it. It's just saying that you're fast. You get there first. Your lap cone would be flapping in the wind. I get there like three minutes later, all cramped up. Are you looking at bacteria? No, you go first. Please go first. Please go first. There's a ball ball. I ran by a ball ball in street shoes. I've never seen that before in my life. No, I, I get into those arguments all the time. All the time. Friends of mine will be like, well, how come anytime a black athlete does something, they say it's an athletic move. Anytime a white athlete does it, they say it's an intelligent move. And it's like, well, f fair enough, man. It just, just depends on what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you read a defense, white or black, that's an intelligent move, right? But if you take off from the foul line, jump over nine other dudes, and throw the shit down, those other nine guys are standing there like, fuck, what did I think of <laughs> What? <laughs> Processing this. Is this gonna be dark and negative? No, it's not gonna be dark and negative. I never know what <laughs> cat. You know what she year was this done? She hate Bill Burr. I didn't hate Bill Burr, but I could tell this was done in the early two thousands. What does that matter? It matters because it? comedy has changed. I don't know. This video was uploaded twenty eighteen, but it's definitely not a twenty eighteen video. I want to say this is from his Netflix special that was on in like circa huh. 2010. Well, I think, uh, you know, ever since, the, ever since the movie Get I Out. T -t 2008, what did I say? Yeah, you said uh, it's old. Yeah, and you can tell by the way he's talking why, about race. Why do I do this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 10 years old. That makes sense. It was funny at the time. I think in the context, it was, it was great. It was hilarious. I just think so the topic think, is you tired. You don't think it's funny anymore? For me, it's not. Oh, God, you with your <laughs> stand-up comedy brain and your friends at the... The Laugh Factory and the Comedy Store and Flappers. And, you know, this comedy's out. Just laugh, cat. Enjoy I'm sorry, your life. I, can't. I don't know how. <laughs> Jeez. It's taking the mad. Doing stand. If you like stand up comedy, never do stand up comedy because <laughs> yeah. it'll ruin it for I, you. I think I've gotten that impression. Yeah. Gosh. No, I mean, because that Bill was Burr's, funny. 
Bill Burr is one of my favorites, like, 100%. Like, he's one of the ones that inspired me to do stand-up. I think he's one of the most influential ones in terms of my stand-up style. Yeah, even. you're always angry, ranting at the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Angry? Talking fast. <laughs> That's you, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, <laughs> this is every, every day yeah, hey, on stage. Hey, fuck you yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> I always feel like I was born on the wrong coast. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so why? I mean, I think the stand-up bit's fun. I mean, I, I kept flashing to the horror movie Get Out uh -huh. <laughs> because of this. Yeah. Taking a white guy's braid and putting it in a black guy's body. If you haven't seen Get Out, I totally spoil it for you. Yeah, for reasons like this. <laughs> Having a more superior athletic body. Yeah. That's where I was thinking, but this is like the funny version of Get Out. Yeah, I'm just wondering so. why it's making the round so much right now. I have a theory on that, which is that we've gotten so PC that suddenly watching this is like quaint. It's novel. We're like, oh my God, look at this guy actually making a joke that's somewhat racist and nailing it because it's not actually racist. It's yeah. race related. And we just don't see that because people shy away from it so much now. Ah, mm -hmm. you know, with your stand up comedy mind, you have brought some level of nuance to the discussion. Oh, wow. Where I might have just been like, <laughs> it's funny because right. he's a white guy talking about black people <laughs> and he's stupid. Well, there's a reason why we don't see a lot of stand-up that's like this anymore. And it has to do with, sorry. Louis with, C.K.? No. Okay. With these young people. Oh, gosh. What? This, these what do you mean? Snowflakes. We're 21. <laughs> I mean, the people who are even younger than we are. What are you talking about? Oh, there's 13 year olds with their damn opinions about stand up comedy these days. You can go, because I've tried to get colleges to bring me to their college, right? And I'll tell them jokes. And some people get it and they're great. And colleges. They're... Colleges. Did Coll I say colleges? Colleges. My bad. Colleges. These university students. Sorry, I just want to make sure if you're going to a college, you say it properly. <laughs> a college. Please okay. continue your actual point. I'm sorry. <laughs> to my actual point, I think there's a lot of young people who wouldn't find this funny but genuinely they wouldn't get the comedy they'd be like why are you talking about this subject matter mm. it's a serious subject matter there should be no jokes here i feel you like know? there'd be twitter people who would say that definitely and those twitter people are then the folks who are hiring stand-up comedians to come to campus interesting the same groups who are like very pc are those students i mean this video was uploaded like different. a few months ago and it has 6.3k likes and only 191 dislikes though yeah i'm cool. trying to fight with you People Makes still for good television. Okay. Well, people still <laughs> like this kind of comedy. I think they still crave it. It's just a difference of what the industry wants and what the younger generation wants, and so that's why you're not seeing as much of it. And you'll notice in his more recent stand-up special, like this kind of an edge is gone. Like he talks about like Coco the gorilla. Well, he's a lot he's older now. Ten he years is. old, but a big difference in a guy's life. I, I think, think. Yeah. I guess, but at the same time, you'd think you'd get more crotchety. Although I've watched some of his interviews. If you watch some of his interviews yeah. on like Conan and stuff, he's yeah. pretty. Crotchety still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, well, he's like married now and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah so he's chilled out. Yeah. yeah. I think that's why it's making the rounds is because we've kind of lost so much of the stuff and people are like, oh my God. And they're like hungering for it now. Gotcha. No, that's a good point. That's actually a really good point. Yeah. But if you're into the nuances of stand up, I'll tell you why this bit works and why it's funny and why it's okay and not racist. Okay. Because it's not. Because of the victim of the joke. He's choosing the right victims of the jokes. And so that's what hmm. differentiates a joke between something that's a bad, offensive, horrible joke and a joke that's funny and okay to laugh at is who is it making fun of? And this is making fun of the... The, the dumb white people? Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and it's okay to laugh. But specific, it's not punching down, though. You should teach though. a course of comedy at the Los Angeles Valley Community College. I know, right? Oh, my God. They should get hired. They're hiring, yeah. paying me. Um, You'd be a good community college professor. <laughs> I'm actually qualified to teach economics at community colleges. Well, you should combine it with your comedy talents. And Even oh though boy. I'm only 21. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 22, you guys. <laughs> Hold for laughter. This is funny to me. I'm just like, that was funny. Yeah. Did I ever that's, think that's it? That's why you're here. No, you didn't. It's okay. your it's your job. You have a different angle. I mean, your, your job is to dissect comedy and deconstruct and study and everything. Like, as, as, as with your profession, it's your job to analyze to it. Me, I don't, unless a stand up bit really mesmerizes me, then I'll do that. But uh, for something like this, I'm like, yeah, that's. That's part of the funny of Bill Burr. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible as a comedian. It's like, you could watch, show me almost the funniest person ever, and I'll still just be like, that was funny. Yeah. It would take someone extremely funny. I don't know why you ever hang time. out with me. Uh, like, she never laughs at my jokes. 
<laughs> she laughs at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, you gotta take your wins when you, yeah, when you, you can. <laughs> on that note, go check out Cat on the socials of the medias. You can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Do it. Ring that bell, apparently that's what YouTubers say. I don't know, check us out on Patreon. We got a whole bunch of goodies over there. We'd love to have you become a Patron Jack today.